morning everyone welcome back to my channel today I am making an essential oil blend soap it's a cedarwood blend um, last week I had promised to put my patchouli lemongrass soap up however um, something happened with that video on my camera and I couldn't get it uploaded so um, lots of trouble so anyways I didn't get it uploaded but today I am back and I am going to uh, hopefully get this one uploaded later on today so stay tuned I'll be back in a few minutes to make some cedarwood soap Okay, I am back here. We are going to go ahead and start making our soap. In my stock pot, I have all my oils and butters all melted. Um, I have coconut oil, palm oil, olive oil, cocoa butter, and shea butter. Here, I'm going to put some glasses on. Um, before I add my lye, um, here I have kaolin clay. I put kaolin clay in um, any of my soaps that have essential oils in it because I, I find the essential oils um, soap sometimes don't hold on quite as well in soap. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put that in. I've weighed this out um, in my little container here. So we'll put this in and we're gonna give it a bit of a zap before we put the lye water in. So here goes. ahead and add my lye water in. Not that you can see, but I have my safety gear on, I have my glasses on, my gloves on. Um, I do not have long sleeves, which I probably should, um, but I get so warm when I'm working down here. Okay, lye water's in, we'll just get rid of this. Okay, and we are going to um, blend this up until it's a uh, good light trace. mention my lye's been sitting upstairs cooling for a while um, this soap is not hot it's it's quite warm I don't know I didn't take the temperature of it I probably should <laughs> I don't take the temperatures of my soap um, I go by feel mostly um, my lye water was sitting for <clears throat> excuse me probably half an hour up there while I got some other things done I got my colorants mixed up so um, I'd have to say it's probably about 110 let's, let's just see what everything is sitting at Oops, how much Fahrenheit? 120. Okay, now I'm going to continue to get this up to train. up to a, a little bit thicker trace than I usually do um, just because I want I want to be able to see my swirls properly and I want them to hold together and not blend together into all this soap. so I'm going to bring it up just a little bit thicker than um, what I sometimes do. <laughs> okay so we can see um, this is like a, if I had to guess it's like a Kind of a thin pudding consistency so i am happy with that so i'm going to separate this all into a couple of containers actually before i do that i am going to add my essential oil blend um, this has got cedarwood spruce and spearmint in it it's all weighed out so i'm going to pop that in before i do anything else and look at that. sometimes i blend it in sometimes i just stir it in Today I'm just gonna stir it in. There we go. Oh, that smells yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, let's get rid of our spatula and I will separate this off and get some colors going. All right, separate in this one. 
this one. Okay. So, put this back. I want to try and get all this color off of here because I'm going to color this main, the main batch. I don't want any little white streaky bits in my main batch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. For my colorants today, I have activated charcoal, which I'm going to put into the main batch. Um, and I have copper, but I can't remember what the full name of it was. Uh, copper moon. This is mixed with a little bit of water. And this one is hunter green, also mixed with a little bit of water. All right, so I'm actually going to do the charcoal one last. So let's bring my soap. Well, I don't want soap, so let's just get that mess cleaned up. Whoopsie, and I think. Okay, so let's, first we're gonna mix the copper one up. Actually, I want this one. Okay, so I'm gonna blend each one of these as I get the colorants into there. So let's go ahead and do the copper first. Set that aside. I'm just gonna pop the green into there too. Actually, this this um hunter green is a new color. It actually should be mixed with an oil instead of a water. Some colorants mix really nicely with water. Some colorants mix really nicely with oils. It's kind of a trial and error. This one I am finding it's it's not bad, but it's not greatly mixing with water. So I should can see because they're all different I don't know if you can see that but I've got little symbols on the top of all of my, my colors when I get especially when I get new ones that I'm not used to here's another one this one mixes with oil this one does not mix with water at all that's margarita mica so I always put whether it's oil or water on the top of my colors just makes it easier when I'm trying to get things done all right so let's mix it oh my that's a pretty color this is also a new mica for me, actually. Can you see that? All right, so we got that one mixed, and then we're going to go ahead and get the hunter green mixed. So we'll pop in there, and then we'll get the hunter green mix it. I think I've used this color, and I don't know, two or three times since I bought it, and it's a really nice, rich green hunter, uh, deep, dark green. Hunter Green. <laughs> Alright, so we've got that one mixed up. And you probably notice I don't do a whole lot of scraping on my uh, on my wand usually. I actually will here today. Sometimes I will go and scrape some of the excess off, but by the time I get this mixed in with the charcoal, you're not going to notice these the little bits of green that are on here. Sometimes if I'm use, working with titanium dioxide, I make sure all the colorants are mostly off of here first, but not a big deal when I have charcoal going in. All right, so let's just pop that in there. And then I'm going to set those two guys aside and let's bring back my base. All right, and then I'm just going to put my charcoal in. Give it a bit of a mix again. My charcoal is mixed with water too. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. I can't remember. So I'm going to put that in there. I'll give that a blast. I like to use charcoal to make like grays, dark grays and light grays and stuff. I don't very often make make actually black soap. Once in a while I have some swirls, so the more charcoal you put in, the darker you're gonna get. And vice versa. That's good. Good, except for I can get the charcoal beside my pot. I'm tapping all the time um, to get rid of bubbles out of my pot. I actually think that's good. That's that makes things really nice for me. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and scrape off the excess off my um, mixer. And good. I'm trying to make sure I'm actually in the camera. I hope I am. Here, let's just set this aside and wipe up my extra soap. 
for this, um, I'm going to do a pot swirl. I really am liking pot swirls, so I did drop swirls for a while, and I did, you know, mixing other things and layering things for a while, and I just like the pot, the pot um, swirls lately, so I think I'll try that again. And it's just kind of fun that they each turn out differently. All right, so let's just go in. I'm just going to give this a bit of a mix, because I do have some, a little bit of batter up there that was not mixed, so let's just give that a bit of a mix. So I'm just gonna drop swirl, drop this into my pot um, at a couple of different spots. I'm gonna drop them right in the same spot or kind of roughly the same spot. I'm gonna do there. Actually, I think I'm just gonna do two spots, actually. And then I'll take this one and I'm gonna put this roughly in the same spot. And then I'm gonna go in with the green again in the same spot and just scrape out everything I can out of that pot or the mug or whatever <laughs> scrape all the soap out and that aside and then we'll get the rest of this copper into this new spot these are going to really uh, contrast well with the gray I can see that already okay I'm actually going to set my pot aside for a second as well. I've got more soap. I just want to clean this up before I bring over my mold. And let's kind of put the mold like that. All right. So all I'm going to do is pour the soap into the mold. No fancy twirling, swirling or anything. Just going to pour it in. Just like that. And then I'm going to scrape out as much as I can out of here. Okay, let's turn it so I don't have it back in my pot that you guys. Smells so good. I've actually made this soap one other time and it went over fairly well actually. So I thought, eh, why not make it again? Okay, so I think I got everything all out of there. No, I don't. I'm not looking at the pot. Let's just give that another scrapey, scrapey, scrape. Okay, now I'm going to grab everything out. I'm going to give this a tap on the floor. Give it a tap on the floor to get any extra air bubbles out. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to let this set for a few minutes while I do some tidying up. And then I'm going to go in and fancy the top up. So I will be back in a couple of minutes to show you what I'm going to do with the top. All right, guys. So it's been probably 10 minutes or so. I'm going to go in and do the top of my soap. So I just, you can't really see it, it's kind of half out of it. Pull it down like this. So I just go in and pull up the soap once it thickens, just to fancy it up a little bit. And then I go back down the other side. This is why I sat and waited for a little bit for it to thicken. Sometimes my soap thickens up right away, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it thickens kind of at a different rate. So then I'm just gonna go in and Play with it, get the top kind of the way I like it, like that. And I think that's looking pretty good there. Like that, and I'll just go in a little bit more here. Okay, there we have it. All right, I'll just get rid of that. And then I just have this little stick. I pick these up at the dollar store. I just go around um, just to pull all that soap back in. Sometimes I do it first, depending on what kind of mess I have. And I'm just gonna go and just use this a little bit just to 
make a little swirl on the top, and then that just finishes it off. And pull that back up for the intestine down. And there we go. Give it a stick. And lastly, what did I do? Oh, there it is. Um, lastly, what I do <clears throat> before I put saran wrap on this and put this to bed is I give it a good spray of rubbing alcohol. It just stops some of the soda ash from the top. Not that that's a big deal for me. Sometimes my soaps do get a little bit of soda ash. It's cosmetic. It's not. It's not a huge deal to me. Sometimes I'll clean it off. Sometimes I won't. It just depends on what I'm. What the soap looks like. There's a couple of my soaps that I don't want soda ash on, so I will clean those. So I just give that a good um, squirt of um, alcohol, and there you have it. Cedarwood and spearmint. I um, also have some spruce in there. I'm going to put this to bed for 24 to 48 hours, and then I will cut it, and I will do a video after I've got it cut. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.